India is home of innumerable flora and fauna. With a landscape of steep roads climbing up jaded green hill slopes, brisk babbling mountain streams, amid a profusion of wild flowers painting the landscape with startling colors. There is a large variety of birds and animals. Here is the description of the cat family. There are big cats such as lions and tigers and also the small cats. There has been a big boost in the big cats due to the conservation efforts. Just as the tiger, we have yet another endangered animal, the fishing cat. This is the story of the fishing cat, a native of mangroves and wetlands. Mangrove forests protect our coastlines from intrusion from the sea and from tidal waves. They are the most protective and diverse wetland forests on earth. These mangrove forests are a secure home for thousands of living species and mammals. Meet Mr. Aparao. He is known as the mangrove man of India. He is the leading field conservist of the fishing cat population in coastal Andhra Pradesh. He has converted over 11,000 hectares of barren land into lush greenery and was awarded the Disney Conservation Award. Oh, man. Fishing cat conservancy in the last three years since you were just now. The fishing cat is in mangrove slow, mangrove habitat. Fishing cat is in mangrove chitl mele, then avas mare prachkuni, untundi. Next to then wet ada the koda mangrove slow ne wet ada the fishing cat tidal tidal waves ne bate. Actual kintu wet ada dente then ki mangrove sochi fishing hatcheries just like hatcheries. Anuwal fishing cat kawas ne food gaane then kawas species kana kardur ke diga bate fishing cat to mangrove slow erap time. Hi everyone from Fishing Cat Conservancy team in India. Uh, we have we are in the Krishna River Delta, and we are trying to uh, look for fishing cat sign outside mangroves in this wetland habitat in Krishna River. So here we are um, at our dilapidated field station, uh, Fishing Cat Conservancy, and we are, we base our operations out of here. Um, the boat dock is out there. And from here, we sometimes stay here in the night and sort through all our data that we collect on fishing cats from the mangroves nearby. So good that we found scat, we found scat there, we found scat here. So the issue is that uh, he has experienced uh, the problem of livestock depredation due to fishing cats. He suspects that fishing cats are eating his goats uh, and he has already lost three goats uh, due to fishing cat depredation. And our job here is to investigate this. So we're going to set up a wildlife camera here and we're going to work towards a solution so that uh, his goats are not depredated by fishing cats if the fishing cats are the true culprits uh, behind his livestock depredation. So what we're going to do is we're going to construct a, uh, a small housing for the goats so that fishing cat depredation is minimized on his property. The Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka is an island nation set in the Indian Ocean, a place of incomparable beauty and rich heritage. Sri Lanka is also home 
to a vast variety of plants and animals. Our journey to trace the fishing cat has now led us to Gal Oya National Park in Sri Lanka. So we walked about half a mile from Gal Oya Lodge um, in their backyard into this beautiful paradise of a place uh, with lots of wetland species and hopefully fishing cats. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we don't see any tracks here because of the soil, um, you know, and the rain. But as of now, I think this is one of the most promising sites for fishing cats around Gal Oya Lodge. This small, small no cats. Uh, fishing cats are nice. They are cool guys. They just come and they catch their fish, which is their dad. And then they go away. They are not harmful. They are good buddies. So we are here near Kiri Arua and this is, it looks like a rainforest. Um, our idea is to document small cat species out here, uh, jungle cat, rusty spotted cat, and pro probably fishing cat. And uh, so this is our first camera near Kiri Kiri Aruba. Kiri Aruba. And uh, we're going to go ahead and set two more cameras in this location. So we are out here uh, in Rambukan Oya River and uh, about three months ago uh, Damien from Gal Oya saw a fishing cat uh, right there on, on, on the banks of this river and we come out here to see if we can see a fishing cat again but it's pretty exciting to actually know that you can directly get to see a fishing cat here Apparently Damien has seen a fishing cat here on a regular basis, not just once but thrice at this very location on Rambukanoya River. Yeah, beautiful. It's really important to do research in these types of areas of the world where very little is known about the species around. And the only kind of knowledge, unfortunately, comes from many of the poachers in the area. So a lot of our work is not only uh, setting up cameras to, to do research, specific research on the, you know, for example, population dynamics of these species, but a lot of it is uh, educating the local community about why these species are important, how to uh, live with them, you know, for example, snakes and elephants, how to live safely around them but also, you know, mainly why it's important to conserve them. 